Hey, what's up, my Lifting Life Partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you, this is your first time getting a chance to hear me speak. First, let me say welcome and thank you for the support. I'm the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, today, which is going to be uh, number two in the series that I decided to do on coronavirus life lessons. And on the first one, I actually talked about fear and nice guys finish last. Um, kind of helping a person if you're going through a mental funk, which I did for a couple of days, I was kind of out of the game. And if you haven't had the opportunity to go back and watch that video, it'll pop up here soon if it hasn't already for you to be able to go to that particular video and check it out. But on this one, uh, hopefully if you were maybe in a funk, that video inspired you to get out of bed. But as I was sharing that with someone, the first thing they asked me, they said, okay, now that I'm out of bed, what next? And so, that's kind of what led me to this second video to say, let's talk about purpose, because that's really what this is all about. Um, purpose, people have made it into this very mystical thing. Like you'll hear people and I've heard even announcers and stuff say they'll say certain people were born to be basketball players and certain people were born to be certain athletes or stars or whatever. And I tell people that's not true. We, were all, we all came here for one reason and one reason only, to actually have a human experience. And that means to, it entails all the different emotions, sadness, frustration, anger, depression, happiness, all of that. We came here to experience being a human being. That's the purpose. Don't make this more complicated than it is. Now, as we're walking this journey called life, there are things that are going to cross our path that's going to catch our attention. And that's the whole idea is to go experience. If it grabs your attention, stick your head in the door, explore it, see if it hold, how long it holds your attention and ride it out as long as it holds that attention. And in this case, when we're talking about an athlete, a star or musicians or whatever it is, you became an electrician, whatever it is that grabs your attention interest you roll that out and then people call that a purpose especially if you're good at it but the reason you're good at it because it caught your interest and it and, and it's something you became passionate about especially the great in whatever they do is because it became something that they really enjoyed and it became a passion and a fire within them and so they put all their time and effort into it and of course if you put all the time and effort into it you're going to get some good results um, so for me, that's why I tell people looking at athlete, for example, if their purpose was to play basketball and that's it, I'm like basketball players careers only last for a couple of years. The greats may see 10 to 12 years. The greats, there's only a few people who've even gotten that 18 or 20 years, only a few. So if that's your purpose, and if you live to be 70, 80 years old, and only 20 years of it, and that's if you're the elite that actually made it that far, most people, again, like I said, get a couple of years. If that was your purpose in life, what do you do with the rest of it? See, that's not the purpose, and that's why I tell people it's to actually experience being a human being. Now, what does this have to do with the coronavirus and, 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 and that kind of stuff? Well, basically, what I'm getting to is there are things that are in your past that you haven't, that you maybe have wanted to stick your head in the door and people have talked you out of that. Now, with this coronavirus, so many people are at home and they're talking about they're bored and they don't have anything to do. Really? Now is the time you need to really stick your head into the door and really put your time and efforts into whatever it is that you felt that maybe people told you you weren't good enough or they told you get your head out of the clouds or only a few people make it in that particular industry. Um, you're not smart enough. You're not tall enough. You're not whatever. Now is the time for you to follow through. Or if you haven't, and, and for most people, you're going to have to go back to when you were young, before they got beat out of you, before people start telling you what you couldn't do. You may have to go back to your youth to find out what actually it was that you were even interested in and then go back and visit it and see if it holds your interest today. And then for those of you that maybe can't figure it out, you're having a challenge, then now is the time to start sticking your head. What kind of movies do you watch? What kind of uh, music are you into? 
and see why there's a common, there's a common reason why you're attracted to certain things and find out what it is. You know, like I was sharing with a gentleman one time, he, he wants to play basketball, he's older. And I told him, I said, well, why don't you figure out how to get into coaching, maybe uh, work in a, a, a YMCA or some kind of program, uh, go in and just volunteer your time and get around the sport. And you might find something that you really, truly will, will, will get you fired up about, but you got to at least get into the arena to see if there's anything for you. You may get close to the game and be like, yeah, I'm kind of over it. I'm done. You know, I'm not going to play pros. It's not really anything in it that interests me. But you know what did interest me? And that's what usually happened because if you go out there, something's going to cross your path while you're out here looking. And that's really what the journey is all about. Things will cross your path on a daily basis. And the things that pique your interest, stick your head in and see why it's piquing your interest. See, kids taught us a long time ago. When you talk to a kid, what do you want to be? I'm going to be a fireman. You see him in two days. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to go to the moon. Uh, I'm going to be a doctor. I mean, they they change all the time. And, and parents are always like, well, that's cute, but they're young, but eventually they have to grow and mature. No, the reality is they're telling you what life is really all about. You only do what holds your attention. For example, I had a gentleman um, a long time we were talking, and he he was a lawyer, and he'd been practicing for about 30 years. And I'm like, so how's everything going? And he's uh, he's like, well, you know, anything you've done for 30 years, you know, it, be, it, it becomes a job. And my first thought was, he can never be my lawyer. Why? He doesn't have the passion. The passion is gone. The moment the passion is gone, you need to go. That's the same thing like with a doctor. But doctors is there because it pays bills or because they feel obligated because I went to school all these years and I got these degrees and I, but so I need to, no, because you're doing a disservice. Like some people say, well, that would be a disservice or, or uh, irresponsible for them to stop after they've spent all that time. I said, no, what's irresponsible is for them to stay. If you're a doctor, a lawyer, or pretty much anything that you do in life, and it's not something you're passionate about, you're being irresponsible because you're not giving the best service possible to those who deserve it, which are the people who are coming to you for that service. So the moment that passion is gone, you need to go. And that's why kids will always switch on you and tell you, my doctor, because things crab their interest. And that is called living. And that's what this journey is all about. It's not about trying to find that one thing that's going to grab you and you call that your purpose and go, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. No, folks, the moment the passion is gone, the moment you should be gone. And this is the perfect opportunity because most of you are sitting at home watching TV, dealing with social media, Shut all that stuff off. Get into whatever it is that you've thought about and see, because when you come out of this, when we come out of this, you might be so excited that, wow, I'm actually moving in a direction that gives me a fire that I'm, I just can't wait to get out there and do it because what you were doing before this virus and before people came in the house, you weren't even happy. You didn't even enjoy the job. You didn't even want to go there. Now is the great time for you to turn that, that, that into a new direction and follow something that will help you enjoy the rest of this journey we call life. I had someone, I was just sharing that today with someone. Um, there was a gentleman who was talking about every hour set your watch. And it, when it goes off, when the alarm goes off, go, wow, I'm still here. The reason for that is for you to learn to be grateful that you're here because none of us are promised the next hour, the next minute, the next anything. We're not promised any of that. So the purpose of that exercise is to get you to a point where you become so grateful about living and about the fact that you're here. You'll find out that is really the purpose of this thing we call life. Use this coronavirus, the time that you're, you're at home, and find out what will light you on fire, stick your head in, and enjoy the journey. 
And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. I'll talk to you guys on the next video and just go out and enjoy the rest of this thing we call life. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.